Hey, we are back with Ask Me Anything. I'm your host here, Tiffany T. And over here, this is Renata Sazlai. Hi, Renata. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> she can say that all day. <laughs> She's really good at it. That's my speech for today. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Liz. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. Oh, oh, yes, hi. and Lizzie's over here, too. I got all wrapped up with Renata. <laughs> with her, with her, hi. Renata and Liz. So, we just uh, were read the Riot Act by Mr. Jim Hagen here in Las Vegas about the men's rules mm -hmm. and we're ready to uh, talk to them about the women's rules and how we operate and yes. how we think about things so we have had people writing from all over the world of questions of love and relationships and uh, we will get started here with our love to love you baby <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling you out live. <laughs> She's laughing at me. Like, no, I'm not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. We're still dancing. There's no music here in the studio, but we are just We can make some. I can make. <laughs> oh, we can make beautiful music oh, together. Oh, we could, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we just <laughs> oh, love, love, love you. Love. Yes. <laughs> Girl, you got the nice one. So, uh, uh. All right. All right. All right. So, here we go. Renata, I'm going to start with you. Okay. I'm going to say She's ready. <laughs> okay, this is a guy. His name is Bob Henry. He wrote from so far away. This is Kampala, Uganda. Ooh. Can you wow. believe that? With I have people on Facebook writing me from Uganda. So thank you so much. That is With awesome. That's Bob Henry. Rocks my world. Yeah, his name is Bob Henry, which sounds very American. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. But hmm. maybe he just, maybe he, he came lost. from here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got lost. He's he now lost. in Uganda. He can come back, but he's writing in to talk to us women yes. because we're, we're his only female contact. So we Ooh, have to help wow. him out. So over there in Uganda, he, he's like wondering if a woman, the man that she loves the most, so she's with him 24-7. She gives him her all. She is just loving on him all the time. And then, lo and behold, he finds out that she goes and cheats on him. How is how it's gonna happen? How can that happen? That's what I he know. wants to know. So I can only assume that him or someone he knows very well cares about that this has happened to them. So I don't know. I I think that sometimes men just get totally blindsided because maybe they weren't really paying attention to their woman and maybe she was just totally misleading him. Probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Have you ever? Have you ever really, really loved a man and cheated on him? If I really love a man, it's impossible, for exactly. sure. Exactly. If, if you really, really love someone, it's how? It's no way. No way. Exactly. No yes. way. Yes. See, so she must not have really loved you. Um, I know that you want to know this, and um, really, I guess the answer is just like Renata said, she must sure. not have really loved you, because if she did, she wouldn't have been cheating. Or something's just, you know, wrong with her up here. She's a little cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> she's a little cuckoo. And uh, she's not right one way or the other, whether she don't love you or she's cuckoo. You're going to want to kick it If she her. loves you, it's no way. If she loves you, there's no way. No yeah. Way. She wouldn't no replace way. you for nothing, right? Yeah. Cool. There you go. All right. So we got another one now. This is from a guy all the way from Chicago. Ooh, Chicago. Chicago. Well, I'm from... I grew up in Michigan, so, you know. She's got the chi chi from the chi, -chi town. I know about Chicago. chi chi I love Chicago. <laughs> I love Chicago, Chiki -chiki. man. chi 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 chicano <laughs> Chicago. This I guy. Love Chicago. Mr. David L. Davis from Chicago. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Let's see what he said. He, he, he says, when a person is in an exclusive relationship and they want unquestionable freedom to interact with the opposite sex, so other women in any way on social media. So he's got a bunch of women on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram that he's still interacting with, even though he's in an exclusive relationship. And Sounds apparently like me. <laughs> and apparently the woman <laughs> the woman is demanding that her mate um, not interact with them, not contact them, and um, doesn't want him to have anything to do with them. So um, he wants to know if we feel that this is the right thing for him to do is to just not interact with other women on Facebook and social media. I don't know. I don't. I interact with everybody, so I don't know. You interact with everybody, <laughs> and and you're an exclusive relationship. Yes. Okay. And so when you interact with people, it's in a, it's in a sweet way, right? You're not like. Well, yeah. To, yeah. You, can, you know, you have you, just want to talk to people and see what they're about. You can't just shelter yourself that this person or that person. You need to express yourself. And love everybody. And love everybody. Now that I like. <laughs> See, there, there's a difference. There are some yeah. women that maybe maybe all they do is try and get attention from other guys that are taken, you know, in a relationship and they send the wrong mm -hmm. kind of, 
pictures or the wrong right. messages. And they, they try really, really hard to get his attention that way. There's other women, like Renata, myself, Liz, we're just, you know, we just try to look pretty, we enjoy ourselves, we put nice pictures up, and we have a lot of really good friends, we have a lot of respect for them in their relationships, right? Yeah. All right, so um, if she's asking you to not communicate with them, either she's really, really insecure. I say she's insecure. Or you're feeding into something you shouldn't be. <laughs> so or maybe you're sending pictures, that, inappropriate pictures to them. Oh, maybe. well, oh. yeah, if she caught that, she should just cut that thing off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Throw something at him. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. See, you just need not to good. be cool and, you know, just say, be nice to women. Be, be nice, yes, yes. Okay, so we have um, another person that wrote in. This is a guy here in Las Vegas. So we went from Uganda to Chicago all to the way back Vegas. to Las Vegas. <laughs> this is a Patrick Anderson that wants to know. I don't know if we're going to help him with this. Oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> How does a single man in Vegas meet a single girl without going to strip clubs, other clubs, or dating sites three times a week? Go to church. Oh, <laughs> you were quick with that one, girl. I like it. Go to church. So she went what? Like ditch the strip club, go to church, go like to right church. away. There you go. <laughs> and and what if what That's if the girls? That's a woman that probably want to cook for you there or something, oh, right? Oh, very I would nice. Think. What if the girls from the strip club go to church? <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh, well, they could, I guess. I don't know. They don't have time for that, though. They, they have, have to make money. <laughs> it's a 24 hour, seven oh, day a week shit. thing that they have oh, to make shit. money. So you so can. Go to church. I see. Or go to grocery stores. Oh. They are just nice girls. What about go the try gas the station? melons. The gas station? Mm. <laughs> try the melons. <laughs> grocery stores. The, the brighter, bigger the watermelons. You go to the watermelons or the okay. melons. You Pick them a little. Pick them up. And you go, oh, is this ripe enough, do you think? <laughs> is it ripe enough? We've, well, now, if she's, if she's fondling what? watermelon, she may not like guys all that much. Well, you know. You unless she's, unless she's like, you know. And then you have to meet people that way. Touch with these. watermelons. Are they nice and ripe or not? <laughs> so Liz says you have to meet people that way with watermelons in your hands. <laughs> Just walk up to people. How are these? What do you think? Touch I like them. Touch my melon. See if they're ripe enough, please. <laughs> so uh, we have a grocery store and we have church. So get your butt out of any club mm -hmm. and uh, forget all of that. That's why you are not uh, meeting any women and probably not any, um, what do you think about dating websites? Ew. I never tried Ew. dating sites. What Ew. if you get like some weirdo or something? Aren't they all weirdos? Oh, they websites? are, but still like. They just claim not to be and then you find out later. later. I don't know. I would No personal do. experience here whatsoever. <laughs> I don't think I would do dating <laughs> stuff. Oh my God. No, no, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. No. <laughs> get a dog. Go get to a park. dog. <laughs> and get then dog. you can meet a girl with a dog. That's another true. Dog. It's gonna it's work. Oh. Or borrow a kid for a day. And yeah. a little dog. Girls like little dogs, right? <laughs> yeah. Get a little puppy and walk around with a puppy. Oh, Look puppy. at my puppy. Get a puppy. Girls go. Have, oh, it's so pretty. You will have What's every woman <laughs> running to you and wanting to cook food for you and your little dog too. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Like, I'm gonna cook him steak. Can I come over tonight? Yes. <laughs> Did I do that well? Yes. And uh, then draw the bath. Totally. And, and draw, draw the bath. bath. <laughs> Boy, she... Liz, you are not going to... I mean, are you sure you're, sing, you're not single? Because, damn, girl, I'll, I'll date you. <laughs> you can come and wash my dog, feed it, uh, you know, give me a massage. Get a bottle of wine. And sure bring the nice melons with you. Because the um, I will open that door any day for you. <laughs> and then you can just touch the melons. <laughs> Liz, uh, you will be following me home after this. <laughs> and um, we'll be right back.